I've been asking everybody about coronavirus, and I want to ask you about coronavirus, but I think since we were just listening to Richard Atkerson's comments about your comments about being potentially interested in Freeport, uh, which you've made to a number of people in, in the last year, we should perhaps start there. What can you tell us about that sort of conceptual idea? So, Daniel, I spoke today about it. You know, we're gold miners. I think that's the most important thing. And, uh, you know, this conversation has started with, would we be interested in Grasberg? And I said, yes, of course I would be. Uh, it's one of the best. You know, it is the tier one asset in the world. It's just in quite a challenging address. Um, and, uh, and then the point about if you want to be a world-class gold miner, you're going to have to take on copper. And we heard today Newman saying that, you know, 100 million ounces of gold, 66 million ounces of gold equivalent non-gold. So it shouldn't be a surprise, you know, the, as gold miners, we're going to have to take on other assets. And uh, copper is a good play, thing to own. You know, it's a fantastic asset and it's very strategic. I think, though, that that it has always been kind of um, an idea that's been out there that Freeport and Barrett could potentially, possibly with Newmont, actually, that would be the trifecta, right? To have the three of them team up and create a massive global titan. So, you know, it's one thing for you to talk about being interested in Grassberg. It's quite another thing for you to open the door to something more ambitious in scope with Freeport or with Freeport and Newmont someday or, or both? So I think the point is it's not about building titans, it's about building titanic financial successes as we've done with Barrick. And that is really where it is because a combination of those would, would not be a perfect uh, platform to run a gold company. Right. But uh, you'd have to get rid of a lot of assets. So that's a, let's not start that rabbit running because, uh, yeah, but the point here is... Uh, well, well, let's take them separately then. Yeah. Just, on, just on Freeport. Is it just Grassport that interests you conceptually or is it a It's the wider attraction. Tie it's the primary attraction in a conversation. But again, you know, I don't know if you appreciate this, but there's a, a preemptive that the Indonesians hold against Grasberg. And there's uh, issues and liabilities that one wants to get through. And as I've always said, you know, don't get carried away by, by the concept. There's a whole lot of work to get done and it needs, a, it needs a willing engager and receiver in this process. And so right now, you know, it's, I, I think the conversation is very healthy because let's take it in a different context. This industry needs to consolidate. And it needs to consolidate with assets that are, uh, you know, um, related, <coughs> that are not disparate <coughs> in, in their business. And copper and gold are, have a close association. And so, <coughs> you know, look at it in the bigger context. And we, as Barrick, are going to play in this, in this play, space of consolidating tier one assets, not not just consolidating for the sake of consolidating. And, and you actually said to me recently that you would be interested in not just acquiring more copper with gold, but potentially acquiring copper on its own if the quality of the asset were, exactly. were good and enough. When can we expect or when would you like to actually execute on that kind of a transaction? So, I, you, know, I, 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 you know, I'll let you know when it's ready. <laughs> but I, I'll take you back to our investor day last year. We are very clear. You know, we invest in gold. There will come, uh, we invest in copper that comes with that gold investment as long as it fits the 15% return at $1,200 gold or 275 copper. We would also invest in copper assets if we had a strategic advantage given our involvement in a particular country, which will give us the returns we're looking for, which is 15% at 275 a pound. That's 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 and you can read it on our website this time last year you were in the midst of a hostile play for newmont um instead you ended up with the jv in nevada which both sides have said has has gone very very well there was a standstill agreement there's a year left on that does a full tie-up between newmont and barracks still make sense to you i think in the fullness of time that's a debate that might or might not be held but right now We've got a lot to do. Uh, we are building out our partnership with uh, Newmont in, uh, in um, Nevada, and uh, and we have a new a, 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 another joint venture with uh, Newmont in uh, 
Dominican Republic. So we're quite uh, connected to Newmont. And, uh, and this year is a year, a grunt year, as I've said. Got a lot of work to do to build on the stuff that we achieved last year. And I think that's going to be my focus.